Hey people, Injured here, 53, Hades Wastes, blue team. Gots is a fastier support hero that fights in melee combat, powerful buffs, debuffs and control abilities alongside Gats is a chaos sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control, got the black legion elite scheme. And rounded off this blue team, Zill is a Lord General fights in ranged combat begins with the retinue of stormtroopers really strong defense and support can also add to this retinue to give him more abilities. Red team, dead metal with a warlock, a melee spellcaster can leap into combat with some powerful disruption and support up against the far seal on the eastern edge. Is it? No, western side. Alongside a couple of space marines, first up is Draktan as a force commander. Very good offense fights in melee combat can also tank disrupt and support with buffs. Ultramarines DLC, very dapper looking force commander there. And rounded off the teams, Sir Gunter the Kaiser as an apothecary, support hero that fights in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. This is the Blood Angels elite scheme, that's a death company apothecary. Doombolt's messing up some scouts early on, really got to try to get yourself into some cover, early engagements against the sorcerer because those things can mess you up. Those guys will die so fast that they get a bit closer now. Apothecary is going straight in here. Don't often see him doing this. He's going to need to get away. He uses the heal on himself. So there's a lot of las guns in his face and some bolt guns too from the CSM. He needs to be careful here. Why is he staying in? He's going to die on retreat, I think. Yep. Down goes the Apothecary. Sentinel comes in for a stomp and gets it on the Force Commander. They're also going to have to retreat here. Or not. Or die. And the Warlock's down as well. All of the red heroes down first engagement. Wow. I mean, they've got the perfect hero to to fix that. The Father Kerry can use Laraman's Blessing, bring them all back to life. What do you need? I think it's 125 red. And not having any heroes on the field before that might set them back. But they won the fight. They won the fight on the east. And look at this. Eldar getting through in the west as well. They won both fights despite heroes going down. Double tactical marines here by Draktan. Some, oh, double tax also for Kaiser. Double ZSM for Gats. Banshees on the prowl for both Eldar players. But some more Dire Avengers for Dead Metal. Did they bash? They did. They did some bashing. Pretty early aspects for the Avengers of Gots. Farseer using guide could win those early engagements. Maybe that's why Dead Metal went the extra Dire Avenger squad. But that Warlock being down could be very costly. Can't run in and jump on the Dire Avengers, disrupt them. Gonna get all their DPS off. Grenade launcher heretics here for Gats. East side. Sentinel backing away from Tactical Marines. These guys with a flamer. Big damage potential against these blobs of guards, and especially if they get behind cover as a damage multiplier if we're in cover or in a garrison. You have to get relatively close. Oh, Force Commander paid for a revive and then went and revived the Apothecary. There's a whole bunch of dead stuff there. Oh, Dire Avengers of Dead Metal just got whacked. Sorcerers on them. Here come the Banshees. Messy fights all around here. Warlock is still down on this side. Are they going to try and revive? Apothecary could just run over and use the heal. Wouldn't get XP for it, but getting the hero up is pretty damn good. Double CSM against double tax, but uh, grenade launcher heretics are here and the plasma grenade going in. Looks like it's been dodged. Yep, didn't even knock those fellas over. I think it did a bit of damage to them though, using their Kraken bolts here. More DPS against heavy infantry, which is what CSM are. Something that was introduced to the game when Chaos Rising landed to help counter CSM. Otherwise, they just get into melee and wreck the tactical marines. They've got more melee damage. Banshees wrecking some of their fellow Eldar. No grenade on retreat. They've already used it. Didn't have the energy. Warlock still down over here. East side, meanwhile, which is where both of the natural VPs are, remember. So you typically see a lot of action here later. Grenade from the scouts. Had to get dangerously close for it, but they did kill some stuff. Three models, including... One of the Stormtroopers of the Lord General needs to replace him now. Look at that, 25 wreck. Can replace him in the field and there's the Medical Sergeant that can hand out medipacks. Doesn't do a whole lot in combat apart from that though. Decent stomp and they got a model off those Tactical Marines. Shuriken Cannon for GOTS. Out a little bit late it seemed like, but uh, maybe I just didn't notice it. 
and the Farseer with her spirit stones. That spiritual rites is pretty awesome. Tactical Marines getting in combat, close combat with the Lord General there. Backed up by Double Die Avengers, but here comes the Banshee trying to get a flank. And they can turn and smack up these Tactical Marines here. But uh, they take their time in doing so. They were trying to get the Apothecary down, I think. He's got the customized Storm Bolter. I really think if they turned a little bit earlier, they could have maybe got a kill on those Tactical Marines, especially if Guide was available. I'm not sure if it was. They're near the power. I'm not sure if they're going to get a bash in it because there's a lot of stuff here all of a sudden. 450 to 416. And Blue Team are backing off quite rightly, I think. Oh, maybe not. The Shuriken's coming up. I was going to say if they had a Shuriken here, they could maybe do some work. Grenade on the Assault Marines set up by the Suppression. Beautifully done there by Gots. There's the jump. It's staggered. Banshees are there too. And they're going to get wrecked. Oh, that was a little bit unlucky. It was a staggered jump into a stomp. And those Assault Marines did not last long. And the Shuriken goes down. Grenades going in from Dead Metal. Frantic opening in this game. Blue team stay on the power. Eternal war, up, eternal war up, sorry, for the double CSM. Noise Marines are not moving. Sword of Flame for the Sorcerer. Just consumes one of his heretics for some energy. I don't think it still... It used to heal him. I don't think it does heal him anymore. Doombolts misses. Power being bashed. We've got some Sniper Scouts. Power replaced. I don't think we're going to replace it now, fellas. Still under attack here. Without the shuriken, they should be able to repel this. The grenade launchers can disrupt once, but that's not going to be enough, I don't think. We do have spotters here, though. Banshee's getting in. I don't have a huge amount of support. This Space Marine player needs to move in, Draktan. Kaiden kind of abandoned the Banshee push there, but they got out okay. There's those Kraken bolts. Needed to be shooting the CSM with them, though, not the heretics. There's that spotter shell, and they are not moving the blue team. Look at this persistence from the Lord General's army. That's a drop pod coming in. From Sir Gunter the Kaiser, some more tactical marines. And Draktan with a replaced assault marine squad here. So during all of that, I feel like blue team should have got this wreck point. They should have got the VP. They did do some decent bashing and fix some decent losses, but I think they could have got more out of that. It was a good push, but I don't think they capitalized on it. Here's the Noise Marines with that Sonic Blaster. Big fan of those guys. Wish there was some more Slaneshi units in the game. How about some nice Demonettes? Sentinel gets repairs. Fully populated the power here. I don't think they're going to be able to bash it. Only got the no Doom Bolts doing some work and Noise Marines helping to shake these Tactical Marines apart. Scouts, are they going to get away? They are. 12 hit points on two models, really. Really now. Spotters on the Tactical Marines who did not move. Yeah, this is an overextension by Draktan. They need to back away. Salt Marines jumping in though. Oh, big old retreat there. From Gats, I think that's a misclick or something. Had too many things selected. I think they only wanted to retreat maybe the Noise Marines. But I was basically full health CSM ran away as well. Sorcerer is still in there, level 2, with Vestments of the Warp. We'll be able to get straight in on Tactical Marines and time up now. Or, hey, teleport to a VP. Can do that as well. Gats, or got, sorry, with a Wraith Lord on the way. And Dead Metal with a Falcon. Could do a lot of work here. Oh. Cancels the Wraith Lord. Maybe some Wraith Guard because Red Team are like all ranged units aside from the heroes and the Banshees. They could do massive amounts of damage to the Tactical Marines. Oh, I guess they've got the Assault Marines, haven't they? They were replaced. But Banshees can counter initiate. Sorcerer can do some of that. The Farsi as well could get her Gravity Blade. I think Wraith Guard could do a job for you here. Falcon is up. We could do a job on this Falcon as well. Support the vehicle that can transport and reinforce units in the field. Very useful in the team game, especially if you have an ally that can't get a transport, like a Chaos ally. 
4035332. Those Marines trying to choose targets. Need to get relatively close for that Sonic Blaster. And Force One is getting in on them. Decent grenade. Double CSM getting caught. Bit too far forward here. Out of cover. Lots of crackling bolts going in. Not a whole lot of cover for you in this central area. There's a little bit of heavy cover and these shot blockers. Falcon took a lot of damage. Oh, it's a heavy turret, that's why. That thing will wreck the rear armor of a Falcon. Tactical Marines with the flamer, they won't damage that heavy turret. The heavy turret has vehicle armor. 401 to 332 on the VPs. That's a dreadnought on the way for Sir Gunter the Kaiser. Gots goes to tier 3. Now we know why they cancelled the Raid Lord. They want some tier 3 action. Maybe a quick seer council here would be pretty cool. I'm not saying it'll be, saying it'll be effective, but it'll be pretty cool. What is this? That's a warp throw from Dead Metal. That thing. Some great disruption can set up nasty things with it, but all these guys were still in their Falcon. That was a bit weird. Banshee's on retreat. Hitting Banshee's on retreat. What have they got? Aspect of strength for both. And the Exarchs are up. 378 to 322. Sort Marine Jump did some disruption right into a bunch of turrets back there. Dreadnought is up. It's going for the assault cannon, as expected, I suppose. Big blob of infantry in the mid. And there's a blast master noise marine now. Getting way too far forward here. Tied up by the force commander who's got his iron halo. Way too far forward. Two heavy turrets though taking shots at this dreadnought. Big chunks of damage as you can see there. And look at this, these are little flank by Gots onto some tactical marines. Getting way too far forward in general, I think, Draptan. Like why are you trying to push against this? Two turrets right here. You could take them out the game by just going around. The heavy turrets will still have 360. But uh, you could take those two last turrets out of it at least. There's the assault kind of barrage, the dreadnought is very low. And won't have melee resistance with its ranged weapon. Banshee's though going after the scouts for now. Falcon. Yeah, doesn't want to go mid because of those heavy turrets. Understandably. Looks like the Dreadnought has lived through the Banshee assault. And might be able to kill them on retreat here if it can get another burst away. Nope. They escape. That was got oh, what was that? Was that Seer Council they just tried to get there? Gots trying to get things. There's some Wraith Guard now for Dead Metal. Gots needs to get something else on the field here. Got tier 3 in good time but doesn't have the power to pull something out that they want I guess. Maybe they want a Fire Prism or something. Dreadnought needs a bunch of repairs. It's getting it. 362 to 285. A decap from the Sorcerer there. Well done. Level 3. Sorcerers do have their Sergeant. No Melter Bomb yet. I guess I don't need it. There's a jump. A decent one. Can he chuck a grenade and get away? Maybe. Oh, they don't have the energy. I think it's 60. Smoke shell going down, messing up the range of those tactical marines, but they see us someone nice and close. Dead metal getting in the face of the far seat and the Lord the General. Not sure what they were doing so far up there. But it can't go too much further, this Falcon will top state taking shots from the heavy turrets. Wraith Guard will make short work of them though, as you can see with those Wraith Cannons, good damage to all targets with a small AOE, also suppress infantry. They are, for some reason, I don't know why, they decided to push against this. Maybe they really want to bash. Really want to bash. They could get on the VP. Just take this turret out, get on the VP. This is like freeing up population for the, for the Lord General here by taking out his turrets. Falcon's done pretty well so far. We have missile launcher tactical marines. For some reason, there's no vehicles on the field. Maybe they would. Uh, they want to shoot down these heavy turrets. I don't think I'd ever buy a missile launcher to take a heavy turret out. It'll become. They'll become useful later though. There's going to bound to be some kind of vehicle going on, tier three and stuff. Warlock just revived the force commander. Now trying to cap the VP. Dreadnought's nice and healthy. 
Banshees, did they wipe out? The Banshees just got wiped out, I think. I can't select them for bots. They were gods. Yep, they're gone. We do have a seer council though. Swap one dangerous power melee squad for another very dangerous power melee squad. These guys with that 15% aura for range reduction, range damage reduction, which does affect them. Decent range on it too, look, it's affecting those fellas. That's a serious range on that thing. Falcon taking rear armor shots from Mark of Zinch. CSM, it'll be okay. So your council trying to get a little flank. Going after the Falcon here. I'm not sure if we can get past them. And it's, they don't have heavy melee, but a bunch of power melee attacks on rear armor will shred a Falcon eventually. Decent hit by the Blastmaster there on the Dreadnought. Doesn't catch the Blastmaster holder, but it's now being stunned by full auto. See Council jumping all over the place. Look at this. Armor of the Apothecarian is up. Also the improved medical equipment. But Seer Council are wrecking these tactical marines. But I got way too close from Draktan. Some heals in retreat from the Apothecary's advanced healing. No attempt to go after that guy. I'm always surprised. Big 3v3 fights when they don't focus the Apothecary. Look how much you can do for the team. And it's relatively easy to take down with this focus range fire in a late 3v3 game. It should be forcing him to be way more careful than he is right now. Vengeance rounds up for the Stern Guard. Uh oh. Ran into double Marcos Inch Marines though, and that was painful for them. Very painful. 295 to 247. One of the heavy turrets is still up. And red team continue to push through the mid for some reason. Burning down Guardsmen. Can they get the turret down now? There's that advanced healing again. Gonna take a while for the missile launcher to do it. Here's the Chaos Sorcerer to help the heavy turret out. And some Marco Zinch fellas. Yeah, I think they're kind of blindly pushing through here. They really want this power or they're being distracted by these turrets and stuff. Sometimes you'll see players kind of thinking they should attack where the defenses are. We've got an avatar for both Eldar players. Wraith Guard are still up. Not sure where they are though. They're right there. They're running away. There's the Wailing Doom. Marco Zinc CSM will do a lot of damage to an Avatar. Look at that. It's a hell of a lot of damage there. Pouring in. Avatars have super heavy infantry armor, so they can take a lot of damage from plasma. Inferno. Melters, that kind of thing. And power melee, of course. See, council trying to get in there. Uh oh. Should not have retreated. They should have just backed away to the left. Could have avoided the Wailing Doom completely. But they got hit. 277. 244. Pretty damn close on VPs, you know. More Seer Council this time from Dead Metal. Has to purchase from the HQ. Only the Farseer can call in Seer Council from the Global Bar. Dreadnought's done okay. Falcon's done really well. As soon as I say that, it eats a crack missile. Is it gonna survive? Looks like it is. I don't think the Sentinel wants to chase it in there. Zeal down to a Sentinel and Spotters. But look at this. And Land Raider Phobos from Gats. Laz Cannons on the side, Sponsons. And that Twin Linked Heavy Bolter 2 on the top. Falcon needs repairs. Scouts can repair it. So can Adara Avengers. The whole circle of summoning from Gats. You have anything else? Oh, yes, you do. Power Fist and Artificer Armor. Here's the Phobos. Can they deal with this thing? Falcon can do some damage. Wraith Card can do a lot of damage. So can the Avatar if it gets in there. These guys don't have their Melter Bomb. Do have Missile Launch Attacks though. Two of them. And Stern Guard. They can pour some damage on it for sure. So also doing some work. It's popped up in some pretty good places this guy. Just driving back the tactical moons a little bit there. Pushing with the Phobos is Gats, kind of alone here. There's an orbital from, I believe, Draktan. 
looking at the red oh but they made the the rookie error of putting all the beams in the same place trying to get the Phobos vehicles can always just drive out of your beams and if it was a mass of infantry the first beam exploding would send the infantry flying so the others would dismiss it you want to always spread your beams out that way when things are tossed around by the first explosion they might go straight into another beam I say get all the damage out of it 246 to 223 2 to 1 cat for red Phobos being chased by a power fist but it does get away Force Commander I think also escapes Avatar versus Avatar Falcon now rolling up or floating up I guess uh oh all of a sudden a Lehman Russ and a heavy turret shooting at you though called in by Zeal I believe pretty good trick that Lord General has the Falcon's gonna die gets all exploding Avatar taking big swings on the Warlock but they've got the Providence up Warp Throw and Good Spade of Bonus Decent Wailing Doom and Red Team look at that they are getting on the VP well done fellas the Scouts get stomped for their efforts and then took a missile to the face and one of them fell down don't think you need to get the Gene Seed of that fella Neiman Russ trying to chase down this Dreadnought runs into a missile launcher can he get another shot away? I think he can. Boom. Did that hit? Did that missile launcher hit? Looked like it didn't hit properly. Vanguard veterans now chasing it down. They don't have their power fist, but uh, can do some damage on it. Oh look, it's switched to an execution. That is very, very risky to get a weapon upgrade on a vehicle that's almost dead and being chased. Can they get it? They're jumping again. Pathing issues means they can't get attacks on. There we go. 23 hit points. The tank lives. Why is it not firing? It did not fire a single shot with this executioner cannon for some reason. 170 to 214. See so your council having some fun. For bots, they've got some fire dragons too. Those fusion guns. Give damage to all targets from close range like a melter gun, but they fire really fast. Now some much needed repairs for the Land Raider Phobos, what's this? Subjugated Seer Council. The Sorcerer is sliding away in retreat. That's the uh, subjugation animation he's doing there. That was a bit weird. Subjugation is not broken by retreat. Is it a bug? Land Raider Redeemer on the way for Dracton. Of course it isn't. World War 2 does not have bugs. Just the Chaos Gods having some fun sometimes. Doing some stuff. D cannon getting those shots in, maybe. It's hard to tell. There we go. There's one. See Council just walking through it. 170 to 180. 2 to 1 cat for the blue team. See Council getting onto the D cannon, but then running away. Why? Oh, there's an enemy See Council, I suppose. Could have been awkward. Another Lehman Russ for Zeal. Maybe this one was pulled down and the other one was built. Needs repairs. What's going on? Here we go. Oh, he's putting a repair bunker in base. I think they're trying to. Contested VP. Still very blue. Typically on this map, you see a lot of action on the two naturals, but it looks like at the moment, the contested is seeing a lot of action. And that's because the naturals are just so close together on this map. Look at that. It's like a D cannon with guide could hit the other VP, it looks like. Level 5 Sorcerer, there's that tunnel subjugation we saw earlier. Redeemer's almost out. Could do wonders on this western side if they tried to fight it. But look at the amount of stuff here. Blast Master, the Phobos. Some leveled up and upgraded CSM. Lima Russ still trying to get repairs. This one has been repaired. Both have executioners. Might regret that when they see the land raider. I just saw a unit disappear for from Sir Gunter the Kaiser's roster. Oh, it was it was just a stern guard being subjugated. Level five Lord General. A lot of stuff you're trying to fight there, buddy. 
a flamer in cover. Look at the damage. That was nasty. Also the dreadnought getting shots in there, of course. Lehman Russ is driving forward, but uh yeah, missile launch is a bad news for you guys. Stone Guard veterans as well. Need to switch targets. There we go. Using Avengers rounds against Star Avengers is not ideal. Driving the other Lehman Russ away. Kicking off on the western side now. Both avatars are still alive. That is uh, Gok's one. And there's Dead Metals. Decent Wailing Doom. Is he going to go after the Phobos? Singing Spear now in hand for the Farsia. Can always stop the cat with a singularity, of course. You need to get it back first. What is the Phobos doing? Trying to get rid of the D cannon, I think. Again, really close to it. I don't think the D cannon has a minimum range. Maybe it does. And now it's put itself in a really bad position, the Phobos. Taking missile hits. Oh, that's why they did that. They knew they could warp it out with the Sorcerer. 170 to 78, 2 to 1 cap here for the blue team. I still don't think it was necessary to drive the Phobos up. Really wanted that decanon out of there, I suppose. Just going to come back though. Not like he got it killed. Warlock using Providence to uh, look fancy, didn't actually get a cap or anything. Red team have the VP though. And eventually, they will have a decanon back over there. The Dreadnought is guarding the VP on that side. Got some loyalist terminators on the field for so gone to the Kaiser. But the carries down though, as is the force commando. Might see a Laramans. Surprised we haven't seen one already. Maybe the warlock just wants some XP, eh? Avatar hanging out. Fire Prism on the way for dead metal. Another Lehman Russ for Zill. What is Blue Team's plan? A webway there. I haven't managed to get a webway up here though. Sorcerer is just going after the VP right now. The rest of the stuff trying to distract in the mid. Got the carries there. Full auto won't knock him off the cap though. Is this more terminators? It is assault terminators for Draktan. See a council. We're gonna chop up these marines. They can retreat back to the land radar but they'd have to get inside or they'd just get chopped up again looks like they're gonna get away maybe nope they super did not get away that guy jumped on him sorcerer gets the cap nicely done 131 to 74 these poor blast master noise wings are down eldritch on the redeemer can they follow it up where's the phobos oh i think it was teleported out i think it was teleported out Still here like a sitting duck though. Sentinel are oh, having to get so close because of the shot blocker that's here. Look at this. Did it stop? I think it stomped and missed the Terminators. They're struggling to get a shot on that Land Raider. There's another Eldritch for the other Land Raider. And the Silk Terminators are right there. They could probably finish it off. Why are they not going after it? There we go. Smack it. Down it goes. Tale of two Eldritch Storms. One of them didn't quite work out, the other one super did. Draktan doesn't have a whole lot left though. Great unclean one on the way for Gats, but neither does Gats. Zill down to three units. Dead Metal and Sir Gunta, we need to try it and push. Red Team do have the roster advantage because of those two guys. There's a Wailing Doom. 99 to 62. These two avatars have lived for so long. The double CSM are still around though. Big danger to the avatar. Chaos Terminator is in now. You can have Chaos Terminators and a Great Unclean one all of a sudden. That's a good way to re recover your losses. Get some power fists in on the D cannon. It does get away, I think. I don't think those twin link bolters, bolters are going to be enough on retreat. Fire Prism with a big old dispersed shot to knock those guys over. Blue team getting a natural back. Is that the sorcerer? It is the sorcerer. Single cap gonna be a... Oh! Blue team taking the west now. Gonna be a 2-1 to one for them, I think. 
Can the fire prism stop the cat? It's not firing. Too far away, I think. Wailing Doom stops the cat. But can they finish off the avatar as it tries to escape? Still got 500 hit points. It's going to be okay, I think. For the carry. Standing out there. I think that's light cover because of the terrain scarring, but we can't see his indicator. Retreats back. Probably to the Land Raider, right? No. Are they? Oh, he is. I think he is. No, went through the Land Raider. You have to set allied Land Raiders as your retreat point to be able to retreat back to them. Your brother Kerry did not in that instance. Wow, Lightning Claw Terminators taken out of Fire Prison. You don't see that every day. Now going after the Predator tank, getting some friendly fire from Wraith Guard. Tank goes down, yes. These guys need to get out though. Warp or teleport? Do they have either? They don't, they go down. The Salt Terminators were in there with their own claws. 57 to 35 is pretty damn close here. Something's going after the naturalist. Some Eldar using their gate, nicely done. By Gots. And the fast here revive someone. Where's the Lord? Oh, he's over there. Yeah, it's pretty dicey. Pretty dicey. Time field goes up. Avatar goes down. Farsi are also going to go down. All of the blue team heroes are dead. And that could give red team a little boost here. They need it down to 13 VPs. Going to be pretty close. 57 to 8. Two double cap, in fact, by the blue team now. That could be it. Should be it. And is it? Blue team get it at the end with a very depleted roster. They were on those VPs when they needed to be. Level 4 Farseer, level 6 Sorcerer, and level 6 Lord General. Level 6 Warlock, level 5 Force Commander, and level 6 Brother Carry. I think they wasted a bunch of time trying to go through the mid here, the red team. And they could have pressured the western side a bit more, pressured the natural VP a bit more, maybe. But um, there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.